everybody welcome back to beautiful mess i hope everybody had a wonderful christmas or whatever it is you might celebrate this time of year but um i just wanted to share a few pictures of our christmas here's my kids and my derpy dog <laughs> my boys got snuggies from their sister so cute <laughs> And then my son decided to make a scarf out of the climbing rope that he got. And I was able to do a couple of puzzles during, um, well, th this one wasn't just during the Christmas break, but um, this one was, finished that in a day. So I was excited to be able to get in some puzzle time. So here it is, the best of 2023 as promised. So we're going to kick this off with the best stovetop cleanings. And I'm just going to put a picture up in the corner of the video that each of these um, clips came from. So that if you want to go watch the entire video, you can. Um, and I'll also put an info card up in the corner when I upload this so that you can even just click on that right from the video to go watch the entire video if you wanted to. So here it is. This is one of my favorite stove top cleanings just because it was so greasy and wiping it up was super satisfying. And I also got to use my scraper a lot on this, which I love. That's something else I'm going to do at the very end is just list all of my favorite cleaning tools, like the top 10 favorite cleaning tools that I've discovered just I can't live without. <laughs> oh, and I apologize for the lack of scrubbing sounds on this. Uh, the reason for that is because I actually used the YouTube video to cut these clips from. And so it had my original voiceover in there. And um, so I had to cut out that audio <laughs> to record this voiceover. But um, the, there, there are a few clips that do have the original sound on them, so, but not a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you guys probably recognize this because this was my most watched video of 2023. This was Mira's Kitchen. And so if you haven't watched it, you're missing out. This was definitely a, one you can't miss. So this was a super satisfying kitchen clean. And speaking of Mira, it is her birthday today, December 27th. So if you're not watching this on December 27th, you missed it, <laughs> but that's okay. You could still go wish her happy birthday. And for those that don't know who Mira is, uh, she has a YouTube channel called Peeling Away the Clutter. And she is um, decluttering just a small space at a time in her home after years of chronic disorganization. So she's doing amazing things over there. You should go check her out. Um, and also she has been through a lot this past year and last year. Last year she was in the hospital for a couple weeks with um, sepsis and then uh, she lost her beloved Cupid, her little dog earlier this year and just barely lost her mom a couple weeks ago. So She's going through a lot right now. I feel bad. Okay, this was my favorite oven cleaning ever. Like I always love cleaning an oven, but this one was so amazing. And this one does have sound, so I will be quiet and let you listen to the scraping. Thank <laughs> you. 
Have you ever seen a cleaner oven that isn't new? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, best kitchen sink cleanings. So this um, was another widower that I helped. And um, I will be quiet again because this one does have original sound. I guess I had more original sound than I thought I did, but when we get to the full room transformations and time lapses, that's where a lot of the original sound is gone. Um, okay, this is the same uh, house as the oven cleaning, my favorite oven cleaning. So, and I'm using my favorite raver, raver, <laughs> razor scraper. And also my little tile and tub scrubber. This reminds me that I have misplaced my squeegee. I don't know where it is and I'm really sad about it. I may just need to get me a new one. If you've been paying attention to all of the tools I've been using throughout these best ofs, I think you can guess my top 10 favorites that's going to be posted at the end. This little iron thing, that's what a lot of people thought it was. They were like, what's that little iron looking thing that you use on the floor? And it is an iron shape, but um, yeah, it's a tub and tile scrubber. I love it. So this is the home that had a bird and two guinea pigs. So there was a lot of stuff on the floor and, and they do clean it out every, every week. But um, anyway, it's still a lot of the shavings and the food and things like that get on the floor. So it was quite a mess, <laughs> pretty fun to clean up. So it made it into my best ofs because it was such a satisfying cleanup. So, um, and speaking of the bird, it was a parrot in this home. Um, it was 23 and a half years old and died probably two months ago, three months ago, maybe. And then there was Mira's little Cupid who passed away uh, like a month ago or five weeks ago. Anyway, I don't know exact dates on this, but um, the 
point is, I started cleaning at another house uh, about three weeks ago, and she's got an 18 year old cat. And I'm like, Oh, no, this is another animal that is probably going to die soon after I have finished cleaning. And I swear it is not my fault. (laughs) They're just old. (laughs) And so I'm just I guess it just makes me wonder if they stay alive long enough to get their homeowner through the tough parts of their life. And then they're like, okay, you're in a better place. Now I can go. You're good. So anyway, that's what I'm going to tell myself. But maybe I should at least start warning uh, homeowners that I have a track record of pets dying right after I clean their home. Just so they're forewarned. (laughs) And to be clear, I did not use any harsh chemicals in this house with the bird because I know that they are very sensitive to chemicals. Okay, here's your warning. This is a toilet transformation. So if you get grossed out easily, you might want to fast forward to 1405 is where it picks up again. But for those of you who do enjoy a really good toilet transformation, this is it. So just a little bit of my channel history trivia. Uh, this is the very first house I cleaned um, on my or posted on my channel. I actually did clean one house before this, but I never posted it because I was having problems with the camera and such. But anyway, this is the first house I posted, and it's the one that I have the most videos of. Um, I think there's five of them, and I will be doing one last one. And the reason why is because this is the first house I have seen um, to completion. (laughs) And what I mean by that is, um, so this house had um, a critter problem. There were carpet beetles and pantry moths in this home. And the woman who lives here had um, some PTSD from... um, Well, she thought that she was having some panic attacks because of the bugs, but turns out it was really because of some PTSD because of her um, abusive first marriage where she lived here with her husband. So anyway, she decided that um, it was too much, wanted to move. And so they have, they have moved out to a rental and um, are waiting for a home to be built. and, And that'll be like, spring of next year I think but I've been waiting for them to get the rest of the items out of their house so that I can film it empty just so I can show where we started and that now they've moved on opened a new chapter in their life so anyway that should be coming up in the next couple weeks isn't this toilet beautiful as beautiful as a toilet can be I guess (laughs) Okay, here comes one of my favorite things that happened this year, my collaboration with Mac and Barbie. These are just some of my favorite moments from that collaboration. Oh, you're fine. I'm just getting getting you in here as we're, yes. Barbie. Hi, I'm Barbie from from Hungary. I'm sorry for your toys. Hello, everyone. (laughs) (laughs) You're so cute. And let's look at those adorable feet. Let's see, how do I do this? Can I get down there? Oh, they're so cute. I'm jumping with my feet. <laughs> Hold on, stand, stand next to me so I can show them how just how tiny you are. <laughs> but you are tiny too. I know, but you're just so like, oh, I love it. You're just so petite. <laughs> Some book angels with Barbie. Playing with Lorenzo's cat, Mimi. She was a cutie. And of course, watching how Matt gets crumbs out of a toaster. That was hilarious. And this little disaster. And who can forget this little incident? <laughs> where we cannot put the fridge back together and it takes all three of us plus Google uh, to get this figured out. We'll never live this down. And also one of my favorite parts of this collaboration was getting to know Emily better. She's so cool. 
Okay, I loved doing this organization of this cupboard. Super fun. And then this little magical decorating. That wasn't so much the collaboration, but, you know, practicing my cool editing techniques. And then this super long dining table was so much fun to dust. Yeah, who'd have thunk that I would have done a collaboration within like five months of starting my channel. It's crazy. And with someone as big as Mac and Barbie, she's getting really big. Okay, here's some of my favorite stuff. Organization. So it's kind of funny that most of the most satisfying organization all came from the same house. This was Sarah's house and um, yeah, she just had some fun stuff to organize. And by the way, the fabric, somebody, well, not just somebody, a few people actually mentioned using comic book boards to organize fabric. So I went and looked that up and I love it. <laughs> I ordered some that I'm going to use when I organize uh, Tisha's fabric. So I cannot wait. I've got 200 comic book boards and I am going to organize that in the next um, probably month or so. And um, even though it's Tisha's house, I am going to put that on my regular channel just because it's going to be so satisfying. So thank you to all of you who gave me that idea. I love it. The other thing that I have fallen in love with this year is IKEA storage, especially the Calax cube organizers. Um, I bought some for my son's room. Love it. I wish I could have had that option in this craft room of Sarah's to have everything out a little bit more instead of all inside totes. So still Sarah's house, but her kitchen drawers this time. Super fun stuff to organize. Okay, so with the full room transformations, of course I'm not going to post the whole video. So what I did was um, befores and then just some snippets of the video, just so you can kind of see how we got from point A to point B. And like I mentioned earlier, a lot of this will not have sound to it because um, it's from the video that was posted. And so I had my original voiceover that I took out to put this one in. Okay, so there is the kitchen of this house, and then I'm going to show you the living room of the same house because um, these were two of my very favorite transformations. This was only the second house I cleaned ever, and um, it was a really big job. So um, yeah, enjoy these little snippets, and the way it comes out is amazing. 
So another little fun bit of trivia about my channel was that this was the video that um, took off first. Um, it was, I mean, it was basically one of the very first ones that took off suddenly. I don't know how the algorithm picked it up, but all of a sudden I was getting just a ton of subscribers overnight and I could not figure out what was going on. I thought for sure this is a fluke. There's no way this is real. And then was pleasantly surprised that it actually was doing well, even though it actually turned out to be one of my least favorite just because of the way that I did this and the music in it was obnoxious. But anyway, you live and learn. So got a little better with the next one. Okay, you guys will remember this, <laughs> I think. This was another pretty well-watched video and one of the biggest transformations because you literally can see like just that much of the floor right there <laughs> and that's it. So what I found underneath all this was a lot of staining and um, I just, did not think there was any way I was going to get this carpet to look even halfway decent, but it was shocking how, how clean I got it considering. This was also the home that I learned how awesome laundromats can be to get a lot of laundry done super fast and that you can sweep Berber carpet. Who knew? So here's that super extreme transformation. Pretty incredible. My dog is currently outside my office door whining for my attention. <laughs> She's driving me crazy today. I love her to pieces, but oh my gosh, I am not going to be able to get this voiceover done in time. <laughs> Seriously, I just have to tell you how today has gone as you're watching this kitchen transformation. And by the way, this is from the same house as the bedroom you just saw. But anyway, I have been sitting here at my computer doing editing and voiceover since seven this morning. It is now 4.30 and I'm only about halfway through my video doing the voiceover and um, I'm tired. <laughs> I, I'm a little cranky. I'm just, I have a headache. My software keeps crashing and um, doing weird things. So I'm just waiting for today to be over and I really, just want to be done with this video, <laughs> but I want it to be good for you guys. So anyway, just bear with me. I have like 20 more minutes of voiceover to do, but um, if I sound a little cranky, that's why. I'm going to try to be cheerful though. Anyway, back to this. Isn't this an amazing transformation? Okay, I just stopped and took some deep breaths. I am back, I am good. So, sorry about the rant. We're continuing on. Okay, so this is the video where I got to work with my mom. Um, and it's also the video where I announced my diagnosis of autism. And I just wanted to clarify something because um, I don't always say things in the best way <laughs> and sometimes I'll go back and watch a video and be like, uh, that's probably not the best way to explain this. But um, yeah, I, I just didn't want people to get the wrong idea that I think that my autism is just being weird <laughs> because it's not. There's a lot of things that I do that now make sense that are autistic traits and Anyway, that's, I just wanted to clarify that just being weird does not mean you are autistic. <laughs> but anyway, here's this room transformation. I loved doing this bedroom. It was super cute. And it turned out so, I don't even know the word. Sometimes I just 
<laughs> lose words. And maybe it's just because I, it's, yeah, getting to be the end of the day and I'm just done. But, okay, we're back to Mira's kitchen. Um, and by the way, I'm trying not to stop so much on this voiceover. So I'm just keeping in a lot of the flaws and stuff because I just need to get done before I you know, go on another rant <laughs> again. So, um, okay, uh, this is a different point of view, by the way. This is, um, I, I did not put this one on the regular video. I did do this for the members only video, this um, bird's eye view. And it's not maybe the best view, but it just gives you a really quick um, glimpse of how we got this kitchen back to looking great again um and here we go here's the before and after i love it seriously this was my favorite of all the transformations ever and even better with her table so that again will that that will be at the the end of this video too i'll show you the things that I was able to buy with super thanks and um, that's one of them so anyway great transformation mirrors kitchen love it all right uh, this coming up is the best area slash um, item transformations so meaning not the entire room but just specific items like this toaster this trash can receptacle, which these always get super gross. And then, of course, we have to have Mira's bathroom sink because this was amazing to scrub down. Just 
By the way, I need to get some new words. Like I say amazing and crazy and anyway, a lot. I need to learn a new vocabulary for 2024. One of my goals. Sorry, that's the end of the scrubbing sounds there because apparently I talked a lot on the voiceover on this one, so <laughs> I had to cut that out here. But, um, it, and by the way, it is kind of funny that I do tend to talk a lot on my voiceovers because that is not really how I am in real life, unless I am talking about a special interest. Hold on, let's just appreciate this beautiful sink for a second. Moving on to the bathtub in Mira's bathroom. Um, but uh, anyway, like I was saying, um, I don't really talk a lot in real life, especially just in social situations, and I get really uncomfortable. But um, for some reason, if it's something I'm interested in, I could go on and on and on and on. Um, but I am a little bit more self-aware, I feel like. Um, than most autistic people who can go on and on about their special interests. <laughs> and I have learned to um, read their face and realize that they're a little bit bored. And maybe I should, you know, stop talking about uh, whatever my current special interest is. Um, days for girls or working on my hill or... <laughs> cleaning. So people that don't follow my channel, if I go on and on about it, I'm like, okay, they're probably not that interested. I should be quiet now. <laughs> So I know most of you have expressed you don't like having music in the videos. You'd prefer hearing the cleaning sounds or just having voiceover, um, which I'm totally down with. But in this one where there's so much silence to fill, would you have preferred a little bit of music or just silence? Because I am talking way too much. But that being said, here are the before and afters um, of Mira's tub. There are some cleaning sounds here for the next little bit. You're welcome, I'll stop talking now. So this is where I use that cleaning hack that I learned from Barbie using the Lysol uh, toilet bowl cleaner with lime and rust remover and um, a magic eraser. And I love this hack so much. I use it on my own shower and it works so well. I love it.
So I also have an update on this family for you. This is the one that had the mom who almost died of an AFE and the dad who almost died of a cardiac event. Um, but I visited them recently and I'll tell you at the end of this video why I stopped by to visit them. But um, they're keeping their house clean. It looks awesome. They've cleaned up a lot more. It looks so good. And they've both lost weight and their health is better. They're doing just amazing. I, I love to hear that. It's it's incredible. Okay, these are just really quick before and afters that I loved. So I just had to include them in here. Looks so much better. Okay, this is um, the best time lapses. And I know a lot of people don't really like time lapses. There's already been kind of a few throughout this, <laughs> but I love a good time lapse. But if you do not, you can skip forward to 41, 46 is where it will pick up again. But these were just some of my favorites. So while you are enjoying these time lapses, um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about um, my plans for 2024. I guess some of my goals <laughs> and some of the things I want to do with my channel. So um, I've mentioned this in a live before and also in some comments um, to certain people that um, have asked if I will ever do some videos of my own home. And yes, I do plan on doing um, a, a decluttering and organization series and deep cleaning of my own home. And I'm doing that for a couple different reasons. Number one is because my own house has gotten a bit out of control for me. <laughs> like it's gotten pretty bad. <laughs> um, I used to keep on top of everything in my house and and I understand like it's not healthy to probably be um, so anal about having your house super super clean all the time but um, I'm not even talking about that I'm just saying like there's been a lot of clutter building up in my house and so I thought why not um, declutter my house while I am filming it just to show you how I tackle it because there's only so much that I can show you um, when I'm working on somebody else's home um, because I can't organize it exactly the way that I would do it or declutter it or clean it whatever um, it, it, just because it's not my own space and so for instance paperwork um, I tackle completely differently when it's my own versus someone else's. So um, I'll do that in a little more detail. Um, but yeah, just just things to um, help you get a little um, more guidance on how to maybe uh, manage your own stuff. So, um, and I understand there's a ton of YouTube videos and channels out there, um, but I always like to get multiple perspectives on the way um, different people do it because it's helpful to have all these different perspectives to find what works best for you because um, like I originally planned on doing this in kind of a Marie Kondo style, but I also understand that a lot of people that they don't really jive with that. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I, I might mix it up a little bit and you, there's some other, um, people like Dana K. White and Cass from Clutterbug, um, that I've been listening to that I've gotten some great tips from and so maybe I'll incorporate some of those but anyway um this is just as a way to stay on top of my own home while I show you guys how I do that so um yeah that'll probably just be once a month starting in January but you know I still want the main focus to be on helping people in tough situations so 
that's going to be still the bulk of my um, channel. So nothing's changing there. I just wanted to add that as kind of an extra, extra deal to um, help you guys plus help myself <laughs> and my family. My family deserves a clean house too. So um, yeah, that's kind of what I plan on doing there. And I just realized we're almost to the end of this video. So this is the most fun I had with before and afters. This was where I learned to use the snap, <laughs> um, which that just reminded me of Legally Blonde. <laughs> um, anyway, these little transitions between the before and after. Uh, I, I kind of forget to do them sometimes, but, and so they're a little bit boring most of the time, but I like doing these snap between the before and afters. They're, it's fun. <laughs> I'm a dork. I know. That sparkle one is actually not one of my favorites, so I don't know why I left that in there, but oh well, too late now. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, we are to my favorite part of this video, and that's because of you guys and the donations that you gave this year through Super Thanks and PayPal. Um, because of you, I was able to purchase quite a few things. So starting with this, this bedspread for this lovely single mom, and of course Mira's table. Love, love, love this table. And then the shelf for Sarah's apartment and some drawer organizers. I did forget to put the Lazy Susans in here, but got those also for her. Um, and the shelf for her craft room that went on top of those cube organizers. And then, of course, the dishwasher that you most recently helped me purchase for the domestic abuse victim. Okay, now this was not from the Super Thanks or PayPal donations, but I still wanted to share it. Um, remember this house that had all the random chairs in it? They were kind of falling apart. Um, well, my friend Tisha, she had this extra couch that she passed along to this family, and it looks so much better. We were able to get rid of all those chairs and give them this nice couch. It didn't fit in there the way it was supposed to, but we made it work. It looks so much better. I'm so thankful for Tisha and her generosity in passing this along. Okay, now to my favorite cleaning products slash tools. This is just 10 of them, so uh, these are in no particular order, but um, I love all these. I couldn't imagine cleaning without them. So first, Dawn Power Wash. It's great for so many things. Um, my razor scraper, I think that's the one I get asked about the very most. Um, and I, I seriously use them probably every single time I clean a house. Um, the detail brushes. I also use these like every single time I clean a house. And I did find a set that I actually like, um, well, maybe not more than, but equally as much as the other brushes that I had been linking. So I've got two different sets of uh, detail brushes linked now in the video description. One is Mr. Sega, and those are a little less abrasive, but um, they still work great. Love them. Then Clorox Toilet Bowl Cleaner, and that's great for not only toilets, but bathtubs and sinks and anything that just really needs a good scrub down. Um, Barkeeper's Friend. It's great for sinks. It's great for stainless steel. It's just a great product. Um, microfiber cloths, of course, that's just a given. Paper towels. 
I love my paper towels for things that are especially gross that I just don't want to use my microfiber cloths on because I'm not Ari Katarina. I can't afford to just throw everything away after I've cleaned a house. <laughs> um, still scrub sponge. I use these probably every cleaning as well. And uh, my tub and tile scrubber, that's the like iron looking thing <laughs> that I use on the floor. And then oven cleaner. So those are my top 10 favorite things to use. Okay, 10 things I learned this year. There were a lot more than 10, but we're just gonna keep it to 10 because it's a theme now. <laughs> okay, number one, never mix oven cleaner with any other cleaner, especially bleach. Um, I already knew the bleach part, but the reason I bring this up is because I mixed super clean degreaser and oven cleaner on one of my cleanings and I shouldn't have, and I didn't wanna set a bad example, so I wanted to set the record straight. I know not to do that now, even though there were no ill effects from it. I just should know better not to mix anything with oven cleaner. Okay, number two. I found out that I've been lied to for years about using vinegar and baking soda to clean with. They're great separately, but they neutralize each other when used together. I found this out by several people commenting on Mira's Kitchen cleaning um, about the way that they neutralize each other and I looked it up and sure enough not great together. Apparently I missed that in chemistry class. Okay number three I have vocal fry and that's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> number four I am not a professional cleaner but I already knew that and I'm learning a lot anyway and having fun helping people. Number five, some people have to go through some really tough things, but I think they are even more amazing for having gone through those things. I've learned a whole lot from these wonderful people that I've helped this year. Number six, I have learned a lot, a lot, a lot about mental illness, ADHD, PTSD, OCD, executive dysfunction, chronic illness, and autism this year. More than I ever thought I would know about that stuff. And also, this is the first year I had ever even heard the term neurodivergent. And um, then I found out that I actually belong to this group of neurodivergents with uh, my diagnosis of autism. Number eight, for every one troll slash hater, there are 500 plus totally awesome and supportive viewers who make me want to keep doing my channel. So thank you to those who are those supportive and positive ones because sometimes it can be really tough to keep going days like today <laughs> where I just want to cry, crawl back in bed, go to sleep, but you guys make it worth it. So thank you. Number nine, I have the best of the best cream of the crop subscribers on all of YouTube. And I'm so happy YouTube allows us all to connect with each other. It's pretty amazing. Okay. Number 10, I'm not good in an emergency. I just had to end this on a random dumb note, <laughs> but just uh, so like um, a month ago or so when I had um, my post COVID cough, I was sleeping in our guest bedroom with our humidifier on and the fire alarm went off at four in the morning and scared the crap out of me. I did not know that humidifiers could set off fire alarms and so of course I thought there was an actual fire and I'm running around like a crazy person wondering why nobody else is freaking out like I am and that's when I found out I'm not great in an emergency so anyway um okay well that's a wrap for this video and for 2023 so I just want to say thank you again to all of my awesome viewers. You have made this year the best and I am so looking forward to 2024 and whatever that might bring. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful New Year's and we'll see you next year. Bye.